So Ruby and I are trying to see the eclipse, but this is what the sky currently looks this like in South Mississippi. I hope it's there is no sign of the sun, of, or should I say no sign of us being able to see it. Maybe at when the before the clip's over, it'll all move and God will let us see it. We'll see. Depends what God wants us to see. Yep. What in the heck is this? Is this important? Mm-mm. Mm. All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Monday. Uh, I'm out here, just got done writing all our notes and stuff for the crate car, um, and then had to call and order some parts to replace. Uh, we would like to thank Joey Pilgrim and Chase Cooper for loaning us parts to get this thing um, fixed to get, get everything going, because without them, we probably wouldn't have been able to race this weekend. So uh, huge thanks to them. Huge thanks to Scott Ladner for coming and helping with the carburetor trouble and stuff that we had going on. We got a lot figured out with the crate car, still got a long way to go, but uh, overall, man, a really, really good car. So within all of that, uh, it's it's just like anything else. It's, it's expensive to run, and um, we couldn't do it without each and every one of these sponsors that are alongside of this car. Uh, but within that, if you are looking to have your business represented alongside of our late model program, we would love to have you on our team. Uh, the unfortunate thing is within getting the car and everything that we had, we did not have any kind of extra funding at the time to purchase spare parts for the car. So, uh, you know, if something bends or breaks or, or we have a mechanical failure, we have no parts to put this thing back together. So the, the fortunate thing with the mod program is obviously we've been doing the mod stuff for so long that we have just tons of parts stockpiled, but, but obviously with the late model being new, we don't, we don't have that luxury. So um, again, if you would like to, to be a small part of, of our late model program, uh, if you don't want any recognition, anything like that, if you just want to help out and help uh, get some things for the car. We would greatly appreciate that. And uh, if nothing else, please continue to watch our videos and stuff. That that helps a, a ton in itself. And uh, check out our latest merchandise. That helps us get, get parts for this thing. So anyways, along with all of that stuff being said, I've got a long wash day to go. Uh, I gave Mikey the day off because, man, I have ran Mikey into the dirt. Like, we have just been nonstop, so uh, it was time for a break. So, anyways, going to do that stuff and then call it a day. So, let's get after it. All right, one down. Got this thing all cleaned up. Huge shout out to ProLine Cleaning Solutions out of Watertown, South Dakota. North Dakota I don't remember don't quote me on that but anyways they make a foam that you spray on dry don't laugh <laughs> they've got a foam that you spray on dry and uh, I, I can tell you right now it works wonders this right here I'm sure y'all saw the car yesterday or this morning it was about yay high and just thick dirt it's gone pearly white South Dakota. I'm glad Rock was there to, to help me out. Now, we've got this one right here. And as you can see, the reason I didn't time lapse that one is because it was raining and didn't want to get the camera wet. I think we're just going to send it this time. But uh, this one's rather dirty itself. So, um, we're going to time lapse us cleaning this one up. But, uh, man, overall, MB Customs some of the baddest race cars in the country if not the baddest uh the guys up there build a great piece really great tech support if you're in the market for a race car look no further so uh, let's watch this thing up All 
right, Mike's in here. Tuesday, trailer duty. What size springs we got over here on the side? 225s, all the way around. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, it's Rosie's birthday. Rosie's birthday was yesterday. She's eight years old now. So, hey. she's really showing her age. Uh, but anyways, Mike's cleaning this stuff up. I need to put all of that on the smasher. Like, all of that deal that Chad sent us. Yeah. Yeah, we do. He's going to clean our smasher up. Man, we used the mess out of this thing this weekend. I'm going to have to show you all, once I get some covers for my late model stuff, how, how all this stuff works. Because his smasher makes our lives a lot easier. So, uh, hey, is this good to throw in the burn pit? I'm serious. What was that? Is this good to throw in the burn pit? We ought to try it. It wouldn't hurt nothing. <laughs> So check this stuff out and set your start points. It's pretty neat. So this this right here comes into play with your late model stuff, but like the right rear we use on the mod a bunch. So it's really cool. So we'll select that. Move the start and the sucker just takes off. Goes to our center to center number within ten thousandths of it and there you go that would be your smash number now when you're done you unload it maybe oh, there's no load on it it's unloaded so but anyways when there's a spring on there it'll actually home itself so yeah pretty neat deal where's machine and racing products if you don't have this machine, you need one of these machines. This makes our lives so much easier. We've got a work tray right here. Super thankful for this right here. Damn. Cut. Cut. Can't say that. I said bam. Oh. Nice yeah. try. Oh. Oh, what we got for late model I'm tires in here? Now. You juice these yet or what? Dude. You see the glare on them? That's that, that's that haze. I heard, I heard that, that's what you gotta do in late model racing. Yeah, to be fast. I heard that from Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You heard that they, they... Appealed it over Yeah, there. They, they took that away. I think that's crazy. I think that was to bring a lot of attention to their series and then be like, psych. So... Oh. All right, so we're getting ready to um, wash the 21, and uh, it, it's I've got a I've got a really bad addiction, like really really bad. Uh, you know, my mom asked me to promise her that we weren't racing this weekend. On the way home, when I'm exhausted after a long last week of everything that we did and i'm like yeah there's that. no problem like yeah we'll go to the beach well now that i got some rest under me and i got peer pressure from mikey like i want to go racing so in this particular weekend like all of our consumables and things are paid for. Like we've got tires, we got fuel. We the the toters capped off with fuel, so I'm not gonna need to fill up on the way there or the way back. So all we would have is entry fees, armbands, stuff like that tied up in this weekend. So and obviously you're, you know, if you're figuring in your lappage on the motor and how you figure that up. But anyways, it's not that deep. The bottom line is all of our consumables are taken care of so it'd be really easy for us to go racing this weekend so i tell my dad and my dad's like you're gonna end up getting me into a major divorce over this stuff it not actually my mom and dad are very firm in their marriage but we promised my mom that i would not go racing and i promised that but then i'm like Beautiful weather this weekend. Just beautiful. And then it, it's just, we, yeah, I don't know. We we said we're going to run 100 nights this year. And this is a weekend that we could click off 
some numbers there. Not to mention we're at home, so the, the chances of us being successful are a lot higher. We're not going to sell merchandise like we typically would, but we're going to we're going to do better racing wise. A car is going to make more money than it normally would, so it kind of balances out. But again, made a promise, and and we're going to the beach. Like if there's one thing about the Hollands, like we love spending time together, but every time we go on family vacation somewhere, we're like this is the stupidest thing we've ever done. We don't like interacting with people unless it's at the racetrack. Like, people at the beach and people in public places are, are so inconsiderate of others. And it's just, it's, it's, not, it's not the same. Like, the people at the racetrack are our kind of people. Like, we like interacting with you guys. We like being by like-minded people. So the thought of us going to the beach is like, okay. But, so, anyways, not to mention our our view our view count everything on social media is doing a lot better because of the late model because of the mod because we're racing so you know we were in slow season it was tough because we weren't racing so we're like barely putting chop content out we're barely putting this out now we've got race content so we're going to take a week off from that too and it just i don't know it, it's tough because your word's your word, and you don't want to offend the people that have helped get you to where you're at, but also, like, as a business, like, this is busy season. This is, this is it's time to get it. So, I don't know. Kind of the predicament I'm in. I'm not trying to upset my family or disrespect my family in any way, but also it's just an addiction to trying to get better and sell merchandise and race and do everything that we do so that's where we're at i'm fixing to wash this car and if, if something changes i'll let you know